Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be talking all about the menstrual cup, how to use it, how to sterilize it, all of those kind of things. So give it a like if you liked it and let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you're going to do when you get your menstrual cup is take it out of its cotton pouch and sterilize it. Now to sterilize it, you're just going to be filling a saucepan full of water, make sure it's quite full and then place it on the stove top. Once the water is boiling, place your menstrual cup inside. And after about three to five minutes, your cup will be fully sterilized and ready to use. Now we're gonna be moving on to insertion techniques. This first one is the very standard, just push down and insert. You're gonna be pushing down one side all the way in and pinching the top. This method is the one that creates the smallest circumference for you to insert the menstrual cup. So if you have a small opening, then this will be the best one for you to use. The next one I think is called a C fold. You literally just squish it down and fold it in half. So it looks like, I guess, a kind of C shape. And then it pops open once you place it inside. And the last one is called a seven fold. So again, you squish it in half and then you fold one of the corners down to the opposite bottom corner. This again creates a very small circumference for you to be able to insert the menstrual cup. So again, you squish it flat and you fold the opposite side of the top to the opposite side of the bottom. And if you need to rearrange it slightly to make sure it's perfectly pinched, please do so. If you're having a hard time um, actually inserting the menstrual cup, you can put some water-based lube just on the outside of it, just to help it go in a little bit more easily. Especially if you haven't got any warm water around or anything like that, which I do suggest you, you use, especially to wash your hands with a bit of warm water and natural soap before you even try to insert it, just to make sure everything is clean. Just put a little bit of water-based lube around the outside and then continue with your folding method and then try inserting it. And you can also use different angles, so you could be in a squat position or you can put your leg up on the toilet or on the side of the bath if you have one. And just giving it a little bit of a different um, angle to actually insert can make it a lot easier. So definitely playing around with using water-based loops and the position of your body as you insert it can make a real difference and make it so much easier or a lot harder. So just be mindful of that when you are starting to insert the menstrual cup for the first time. Now that you have successfully put the menstrual cup inside your vagina, it just pull on the stem a little bit to make sure that that suction has actually taken effect. If you feel a little bit of resistance, then you'll know that it has been placed correctly. If it hasn't, then you just want to put your finger inside and just run it around the outside of the cup and you'll be able to find where it hasn't opened fully. And if you just turn the base of the cup, not the stem, you'll be able to successfully get it to open fully and create that suction. Now when you are ready to take out the menstrual cup, find yourself in a comfortable position. You might wanna put yourself in a position like when you inserted the menstrual cup, like raising one leg on the bath, sitting down, or putting yourself in a squat position. If you're doing this for the first time and you're using it on your period, then be careful because it could get a little bit messy. That's why it's a really great idea to practice. You wanna just insert one finger and basically break the seal by folding in the side of the menstrual cup. Don't worry, this shouldn't spill, but it should break the seal and be able to pull the menstrual cup out really nice and easily. If you do have a bit of a spillage, don't worry. Remember, you are still practicing. That's why it's a really great idea to practice when you're not on your period so that you can get it down before you actually have to use it real time. And then once you've pulled it out, just put the menstrual blood in the toilet and flush. And then it's time to clean your cup again. Okay, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching this really quick video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and you got some use out of it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and then I know that these how-to videos are obviously informative and helpful for you guys. Um, and just remember to subscribe and share this with anyone that you think might find it 
useful. But as always, if you cannot use a menstrual cup, there are so many other things that you can use. There are much more um, healthy, organic tampons you can use. There are reusable tampons. There are reusable tampon applicators now. Period pants, period boxes, period pads. There are so many other reusables that you can use if this is not right for you. So do not worry if you've tried it or it actually just looks very intimidating. Don't worry at all, there are plenty of other options and we'll be making a full period kit video, an ultimate guide in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that if the menstrual cup is not for you. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very, very, very soon. Bye.